Talk Back Tuesday. I'm Charity Bailey. What's good? Hope y'all had a good weekend and have had a nice start to your week. <sighs> Just checking in, talk to you about a few things that are on my mind and uh, I want you to holler back at me as usual. So over the weekend, I was at home with my family in Sacramento. My love tank is so full. My sister celebrated her 38th birthday and she planned a whole day of play for us at Velocity Island Park. It was so much fun, y'all. Play really is a form of self-care. If you ever pay attention to the way kids just get lost in jumping and swinging and laughing and it just, I can't explain it. I just know that we had such a good time. My brother, my sister, my two nieces, and I just went and we just went for it. If you take a look at my reels, you'll see my sister and I went wakeboarding. We all got on the obstacle course and it's also a very good form of exercise because <laughs> we all sore the next day, all bruised up on our legs and knees. And I think I got a bruise here looking like a hickey or something, but it was just fun. And we created so many good memories. Uh, and then that night my sister took uh, or should I say my brother took my sister out to dinner and I spent time with the kids at home and just, you know, watching them do what they do in their natural And environment. then uh, Saturday, oh Saturday, we took my mom to see The Temptations. So first we went and had a really nice dinner at the steakhouse and uh, it was really Nellie's idea. She's always like, on your birthday, you're supposed to give your mom something. And so Nellie decided that we should take my mom and do a family trip to see the temptations and oh my goodness when i tell you watching my mom fangirl out to her jams was such a delight it was so much fun but it was just i don't know i cried i really did y'all know i'm a big cry baby anyway but my dad um was a big fan of the temptations as well so like thinking about him and like his favorite songs and his favorite favorite group and then watching my mom just take it all in and the way her face lit up and then she went to the front of the stage and got a picture with the last living member of the Temptations. Nellie cried at one point. <laughs> my mom cried at one point. I think Libby may have cried. I don't know. She did a really sweet post on Facebook but it's a trip because when we were having a conversation at dinner I was saying that at 41, I sit in the middle at this point, right? I'm watching my mom at 73, and I watch my nieces at like 7 and 10. And I sit in the middle, and I go, wow, this, this is life. And I'm taking it all in. And I'm watching the beginning stages of life and the formative stages, and I'm watching the latter years of life. And <sighs> I, I can't really put into words what I was feeling, but it gave me all of the... the, the the good energy in my body. It really was something to cherish, something I'll never forget. And then on Sunday, we just chilled around the house, kicked it. Uh, my brother made brunch. The kids were, you know, doing their thing, laughing and playing and watching YouTube. I love my nieces because one of their favorite things is to watch kids getting hurt and y'all know how much I love to watch people uh, fail and fall and get hurt <laughs> so we just hearing them laugh and giggle around the house listen to little Nady my nephew you know do his thing toddle around and fuss and cry and <laughs> bother them bounce his ball at one point I just took it all in you know like this is something special and it's such a blessing to be in a space filled with so much love. We were having drinks and dancing around the kitchen and just like, this is what life is supposed to be about. This is what it's about right here. On one of the Facebook posts or Instagram, somewhere on social media, I just recalled my brother um, posting, love the life you live. And also for me, I'm like, live the life that you love too and that's that's what's been resting on my heart is that like my life is so full of love and I'm so grateful and blessed to have so many people that love me so much so that when somebody shows up that is not good for me 
does not genuinely love me, does not respect me, uh, who just takes and doesn't give anything to the space that I'm in, that they stand out like a sore thumb. And I'm just like, yep, nope, you gotta go. And so I also had to do that this weekend too. Like, be like, all right, some things gotta go. <laughs> And I've been told that I overthink things, that I'm too sensitive, that I'm emotional, womp, womp, womp. And to that I say thank you, because I'm always paying attention to the way things make me feel. And if something is not good for me or does not help me vibe highly, it brings me down, makes me vibe low, it sticks out like a sore thumb because I have so much goodness, and so much grace and beauty and love in my life. Child, this flies out here. Uh-uh. <laughs> that uh, when something or somebody is in the space, it's almost like this flies. Like, uh-uh, you got to go. <laughs> anyway, this week it was full of love. I'm grateful. I'm blessed. My love tank is full. And I ask you, what fills your love tank? What makes you feel all the good vibes? And also, who makes you feel loved? You should always surround yourself with people who genuinely love you, care for you, and surround yourself with people who celebrate you, who don't just tolerate you, and never make exceptions or apologies for who you are. Be you. And be true to who you are. <laughs> I love y'all. Have a good week. Holla back at your girl. Also, uh, we're working on season three of Grow We Need to Talk, but season two of Grow We Need to Talk is live wherever you listen to your podcast. Uh, and it's also on YouTube. So share those with friends. Season two is all about victorious, strong women. Season one is all about my grief. And season three, we're just opening up the conversation. We're talking about all of it, child. I love y'all. Have a good week. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Stay up. Hey. <laughs>